talking about here. i promise to give you something because i'll talk like this and like he's done for the last four years, give us nothing and take us further into war and become more of a warmonger, killing from afar with drones despite a nobel peace prize awarding contracts to oil companies saying that the bp oil spill in the gulf was our fault i'm i'm sorry i listen and i remember maybe you need to remember as well as listen why the occupation in san francisco is not doing what they're supposed to maybe raul can tell us that well it seems to me i've got my my viewpoint on that of course it seems to me that everyone's become largely distracted and there there are some identifiable elements that trace back to the international banker uh taking it apart uh it's basically basically become two factions one's uh largely non-profit organizations that are funded by the banker and then uh the physical 3d occupation of public space has largely become exclusively for uh homeless and and uh drunken vets that sort of a picture and it's not that viable as a credible as, as a protest anymore uh they tend to uh, uh lean towards a kind of a security force it's kind of been pared down to a security force uh that scared everyone else out by now uh i see it kind of like a little concentration camp where they oh, they oh, oh the concentration the camp you said it yeah okay and and so now we have everybody striving for leadership or control or to be the big dog in that little concentration camp so everybody's biting everyone else it's like a big playground where somebody's trying to and i keep saying for what mm -hmm. because this biting back and forth i don't care which groups supposedly split off and anonymous knows that what i care about is that we grow and if some people are better working from home get over it when you're on the street we need them and the people in the houses if you think that it's easy to be on the streets get over it the people out there, for whatever reason, whatever brought them there, and you have no idea, it could be a plane crash that took their family, it could be the loss of their house, it could be simple mental problems, or it could be addiction, or it could be, as I once knew somebody, they were a mechanic, and fixed some brakes. The brakes failed and the woman died. They couldn't face that, so they went on the streets to figure out how to live their life because they had done something like that. Or it could be they've been targeted for the last 10 years for getting too close to a CIA operation. Exactly. So there's all kinds of reasons for people on the street. Get over it. People in the houses need to accept the people on the street. And the people on the street need to accept the people in the houses. And I have tried to even get along with the Action Council, which no longer consults with anybody on the ground, and, and tries to use the, the name of Occupy SF. Just like the people who stay at home and only go to events to stream uh, things for us. They're, they're almost like journalists and not a part of Occupy. And so it really comes down to a participation. You're a participant or you're merely watching the evolution and you may watch it fail if you just watch. But sometimes it it's like, seems a little bit overly obvious that it's manipulated. Uh, for example, you were mentioning that the Action Council, which, which establishes these actions, these marches and such like, uh, isn't coordinating with the occupation, the actual Occupy. Uh, last night I found out they ha they're having a, an event for the Gay Pride March, and they intend to do it uh, basically a half a block away from the Occupy movement, and, and no one at the Occupy movement knew about it. And well, it's exactly. going to look like they are the ones that, that have put this on when they haven't got a clue uh, about what's going on. It's, it's going to reflect directly on them. And I think well, they should have, have at least be aware that this is happening. Absolutely. And it's their pandering to their audience so that they can look like they're the leaders. That guy, David Solnit, he's the one who's quoted over in, in Occupied, Occupied Wall Street Times or something. And locally on the, on, the, on the radio stations and such. That's the people that they want you to believe know what's going on. They don't want any reality. And when I found out that they were going to come down and, and start at 101, essentially, where we have the protest against the Fed and and say that that's where they're going to have, start their whole thing about the LGBT <coughs> thing with the Gay Day Parade, blah, blah, blah. I was offended because they never came to GA and suggested it. 
they are coming exactly. down and using our table like a thug like like a bully hey people know us and they like us better it's the playground again these are some of the people that are biting us as we bite others rock trying to stay out of it i mean i don't i don't need to bite anybody <laughs> i've got <laughs> enough of a sharp tongue but um, there's a lot of infighting and it comes down to what i said when i became occupies legal counsel way back actually the first night uh, september 17th but with full consensus early october it must have been october 2nd 4th 6th something like that respect you have to start with respect and then you can have peace that's why the non-violent statement not that anybody is going to say, I'm going to lay down and die, or that we all have to do it according to command. But basically, we're here because we want peace. And thirdly, integrity, ethics. You have to have honesty. You can't be stealing and lying. You can't be as corrupt as the people you're trying to, to get over on, or the people you're trying to change, because they'll see through it. That's what they want. They want you just as dirty as they are, so you don't... You don't make any difference to them. You're just as dirty. They don't have to listen to you. I see that Respect, happening. Respect, peace, and integrity. Go ahead. Sorry. Oftentimes, the reaction to fascism is it's equally fascist. You end up with people, which is an understandable <coughs> reaction. It's kind of knee-jerk, but people really need to keep themselves in check, and uh, uh, that's a real problem when you have like, like people policing within Occupy that are twice as. I've been violently treated from occupiers worse than by the police myself hurt worse on more than one occasion uh, I'm down there because the fact is we do have to handle this problem with the international bank that's the number one important thing um, now one thing about the, the front lines the 101 the, that occupation these guys seem to have a more clearer <laughs> picture of how far things are gone or are being more honest about just how dangerous it is, including concentration camps. As a matter of fact, just up from the Richmond oil refinery in Richmond is a concentration camp. That one's uh, at the moment designated for uh, immigrants. Uh, I'm kind of familiar with what's happening. You mean over 30? Over 30? <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, <laughs> if you follow the, the Nazi scheme of things, the first people to get attacked would be the handicapped, the disabled, the elderly, and that's likely the, what they're doing right Actually, now. Actually, it was probably the professors and the people doing. were speaking out and making some sense. They all left before they really started doing that stuff, because you couldn't get out when they started that. But there's one thing I'm seeing being leveled against the, the physical occupation. That's what I'm calling Occupy, the physical occupation at 101, is uh, uh, it being regarded by the police as uh, a handicapped, mental illness, uh, crazy vets scenario, and that's how they want to handle it. They aren't re regarding it as a protest, but <coughs> as people that need their help. Oh, that was very obvious, because the world should know, and I hope you will tell everyone how, how it happened. On June 6, 2012, they took down the American flag at the protest site. June 6th, 1944, was it? Was the invasion of Normandy, D-Day? I can't imagine anyone thinking, whether they're a police person, or a redneck, or just some random character walking down the street, that they have the right to pull down the American flag. That would have to be their First Amendment protest. The police don't say it's their First Amendment protest. It says, you're not, you're not a protest site. We don't, we don't recognize you, so we'll treat you like psychotic homeless. We'll make sure that all the psychotic homeless come down. And they'll be your security, because we have a few of them in there who will make sure that there's some booze that comes in in the evening. They'll make sure that some of the, the really hard people come in to steal a few things and if you catch them they have a knife or something so I have to say that that they have worked beautifully their psyops and and the people of Occupy and the youngsters are going through what we all did 40 50 years ago they'll learn that what they thought was the truth 
was a pack of lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they're being led around by their little noses, their little exactly. rings. Exactly. Exactly. They think over 30s to over the hill. They don't realize how fast it comes. I, I'm I'm totally just in shock that Obama would say, people under 30. Yeah, stick around. People over 30. We don't care if you're 60. We don't care. We we don't we don't do this for dignity. We do this for votes. Exactly. Um, it, two more questions. Uh, I think time again is running out. Um, last couple shows, you guys did an excellent job talking about uh, one was about the legislation that Obama signed for the last actually since 2001. But he signed for the last two years some horrible legislation that people do not know about. And thank you guys for all the tremendous job you're doing bringing all that information. Um, how difficult it is and what is the level of the population, not just in California, but in the United States? If we compare, right now we are in San Francisco, it's probably 10, 15 miles away from Richmond. In Richmond, we have the refineries for Chevron, the the offices are in San Ramon. We go to Chevron gas station and we pay for more than four dollars per gallon. How informed is the people in North California where that comes from? What Chevron is doing to the city of San Ramon? They are not paying taxes uh, for extracting the oil from the land in California that belongs to the people. How hard is to to teach these people, maybe not to teach, to inform, and how, what it's gonna take for them to learn, not just that, but all the information that you guys bring <coughs> week after week after week, which is amazing, <coughs> and everybody should be really <coughs> listening to that. You have to make a video game if you get it. I would say the true 1%, <laughs> but those people that actually know this, and the 99% of those people that have no idea and go through life, with blinders on or zombies. Well, I would have to say <coughs> that, uh, let's take it from the point of view of the two Occupy groups. Uh, <coughs> the front lines, these, these kids that are uh, being portrayed as like homeless nutcases, they need to learn not that, they know all about it. They need to learn what instigation is about, what provocateur is all about, so that they don't like, like get manipulated into the position of getting Occupy wiped out. Uh, the idea is to, to get a larger scale effective movement that the public uh, is behind. Uh, the Board of Supervisors has sanctioned Occupy as a valid movement. The police have no uh, no slight reason to come down on it as a homeless camp. It is a movement and, and it's recognized. Uh, for them to do that is, uh, uh, how do you say, it? Us usurping power. Uh, the chief of police is usurper, usurping power, and as is the mayor, and the mayor needs to be confronted on that. That's for one part, but for the part of educating these people, uh, the people that, that need to be educated are, are the Democrats that are tolerating the type of activity that Obama is engaging in. Well, it's like w know. when he, he signs the National Defense Authorization Act with reservations. What we're talking about here is concentration camps, <coughs> not reservations. This is not all right. Reservations at the concentration camp? <laughs> well, the, and, and the They're thing worse is, than, than reservations. Oh, of course they are. But, but it's also that, you know, the average person thinks they know. Mm -hmm. The average person thinks that they know, and they don't have to read. They don't have to even really watch TV, but they listen to it, and they know. So we're trying to get through this entire blanket of knowledge that's false. For instance, how much did you pay in tax? What was the percentage? I know mine was nearly 20%. You know what Exxon paid? And they're trying to get back from Richmond so that those kids won't be, have a good school, so that there won't be a fire department. And forget about calling the police. Exxon paid 13%. Two thirds of what I paid and they made 9.45 billion in profits, or almost 104 million dollars per day. I didn't make 104 dollars a day. I, I think that, that that speaks for itself. The education of the people, it has to be 
each person as they wake up teaching the one next to them so that the teaching goes one person to another this is not gossip this is the only way that we can do education it goes from the very beginning of humanity is called oral tradition and so now with our oral tradition check your facts tell people what you find out that is the only way we're going to break this illusion that the corporations have our interests in mind mm -hmm. wouldn't you say though that when someone goes to a gas station pay four dollars more than that per gallon wouldn't they think automatically why am i paying so much and then the next day they heard in the news that chevron and exxon mobil and panaco Phillips made this billion dollars in profit <coughs> wouldn't you connect with that they're making so much money maria the people in government okay i don't know what the director makes i know what the job that i tried to get but i was too old i had age discrimination if nothing else it was for a hundred to hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year for contract compliance that's a lot of money mm -hmm. i mean these people don't think about the gas they think about their job and the fact that they can buy an iphone that they can yeah, exactly. buy what they want go out to dinner yeah. as long as that's the case they're gonna stay blinded what would you tell raul to these people like uh, every when it's a baseball games right here like half mile away drunks and eating we go, garlic fries yeah we drive around and it, there's gonna be a baseball game and there's like thousands of people walking in to see the games i wouldn't say anything to, to them they're there to get their mind off of troubles and to go have fun and not be harassed and just to have a good time and for a day what i would say say to people is, is when they are willing to, to look at the state of total lawlessness that so-called the United States ha has come to. Uh, there is no constitution left. It's not about fighting to hold on to your rights. It's about reclaiming them at this point. They've been all removed from us. Uh, when people see that kind of police action, that kind of police state, they're struck into a, a an awkward psychological state. It's not healthy. They, they feel detached. Yeah. Uh, uh, they don't know what to do. They, it's uncomfortable. Uh, so it's good to like realize that this isn't easy news to break to people, you know, in the middle class who are voting to somebody based on like religious hopes and hope is, you know, Liberal after hope. four it's, years. It, liberalism is a religion. It's a religion that is. We did great to put a black man in. We're historic. We didn't think about whether he was qualified. We didn't think about anything except how important we were by putting somebody in for their color, which was the greatest travesty of all. Now, I'm not saying McCain would have been a good president, not at all, but that's the kind of stuff they're using to manipulate us. You take an old guy who has a little bit of trouble and a running mate that doesn't work so well, and you, then you get this young black man, and it's like all the liberals fall over themselves because liberalism is its own religion. And they don't care, for instance, because you've got a lot of Democrats in Congress that you know where a lot of the money came for Exxon? They bought back their stock. And then they raised the dividends. They gave themselves more money. How's that for a deal? And then you want to know which politicians and why they go along with this? They took $1,091,000 and, and gave it to federal politicians for this year's election cycle. I don't know what to say. I can't give $10 to somebody that I want to get in, but they can give Billions, hundreds yeah. of thousands. It's just, it's, it's beyond belief that people around the world, I know that third world countries, I know that Ecuador, I know that Chile, I know that Argentina, I know that Brazil, I know that El Salvador, all these places that have had to deal, Cuba, Dominica, uh, all these places that have had to deal with the United States and with its, you know, junior partner in crime here on that side, Mexico, so that we, you know, have caused untold misery through our corporations and our police states. And it has to come to an end. They know, listen to them. They've gone through this whole thing where their economy has been smashed. They've had to take loans. 
and this austerity sell off their their natural natural resources take cuts in what they're doing this is their plan they are executing it in america you better watch out china you're next mm -hmm. one of the things that i think um to me is actually obscene and i think um, we're gonna live with this thought i would like to hear you too what what do you feel in your heart when you heard that the people of richmond <laughs> will probably give money back to chevron because maybe they pay too much in property taxes because how do you assess the, their property it, it does not matter how much it is but how do you feel when you heard that they will take the money from the people in richmond and what's going to happen to richmond it, it's a Thank city you. that is probably in bankruptcy right now. When the, the housing bubble hit San Francisco, people sold their houses and moved perhaps to Berkeley, and they sold their houses and moved to Richmond. Uh, it, it's, it's, the, it's the bottom. Uh, they were driving people out down there. Yeah. So where do they go from the bottom? Uh, then there's the guys that were living there in the first place. I'm not sure where these people go. It worries me. They, they disappear. Where do the guys from Hurricane Katrina go? We welcomed them to San Francisco for, they didn't know it, but it was just for a short term. They weren't told that. And then they, they lost their places. Uh, that being said, uh, Newsom did an interesting one. When he left office, he signed on for a, a title generator. This is big news. We're go going to do something effective. Uh, for all the horrible like anti lower class stuff he did one thing good so he moved on to become the lieutenant governor i haven't heard hide or hair about this <laughs> title generator since but that is something effective we can we can do to educate the the, the middle class who is getting taxed uh, worse than the upper the people above them or below them uh, those are the two lowest tax paying percentage the lowest lower lower class because they don't have the money to pay and then the the guys that they're paying their taxes to, which is the uh, you know the top of the pyramid with the eyeball on yeah. it, those are the guys. Are the, the guys that are taking your tax money. Basically, that's where it all gets funneled in the end. And yeah. Robin is all blind. I would tell them, I wouldn't give them the money. I present them with a bill for using the city streets, for using the city plumbing, for using the city electricity for using all of these things that they did not pay for, they only paid their share of as a so-called person. I'm telling you, they only exist because we allow them to mm -hmm. exist. Exactly. And they should not be getting money back. They should be willingly putting that money into parks and education and everything else because they're using all of the infrastructure they're not building it except when they get a sweet contract from the government. And the government, as you can tell from Richmond, is rapidly becoming unable to purchase their services. I could have put an adjective in there, but I refrained. Well, <laughs> we are... Uh, you can do um, Anything else to... Yeah, I was kind of half finished with what I was saying a second ago. That wasn't so clear. What I found is an effective way to educate uh, the middle class, uh, the the more moneyed liberals, it, the the guys with money they get socialism. The guys with no money they get slavery. Basically, is what's happening. But uh, the the way I approach the middle class is I point out workable technology that's being used effectively in Europe and saying hello. This is a better way of going about it. It's very competitive with big energy we have in America. And uh, when I'm speaking to the lower class in America, I point out that a lot of these green energy groups are funded by the international banker, George Soros. And if they look at their so-called independent media, it's owned exactly. by the same guy. So we're getting this huge, huge dose of wrong information about what's clean, what's green. Uh, I would like to know what Van Jones advised Obama so far as... Uh, nuclear energy is it clean is it dirty obama seems to have this notion that like it could be clean <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like a questionable uh, take on 
nuclear, especially when he's ignoring the warnings he got about the fukushima exactly. reactor by bradley manning, who he is keeping yeah. in prison, and he should let him out today. Yeah, if, he, if he really wanted to make a run for presidency, he would let manning out. And yeah. that's all it would be, is part of his run for presidency, because people know this. And, and people know what a threat that is to the masses. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 he's being hung in public for everyone just to sit there and watch as mm -hmm. a personal threat. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay, well, thank you both. Uh, one more time. It's been a pleasure with you. Oh, and yeah. uh, great information that week by week you bring to us. I think uh, there is hope. Yeah, well, there is. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> if we demand the change that we need instead of accepting or hoping for a change that is given to us, voluntarily because it will not be given to us voluntarily and we demand the necessary change yeah. then there is hope exactly uh the next show it's gonna we're go going to one of the public hospitals in san francisco which is one of the worst in the country and hopefully you two will uh, describe what you see over there so because that's the people that it's suffering right well, now and the let's talk about natural medicine at the same time because exactly. they don't offer yeah. Uh, let's talk about electric shock therapy at the same time. Exactly. They do offer. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Yeah, where does exactly does our Human Rights Commission stand on electric and shock then, therapy? Exactly. Oh, That's what I would like to know. Has the machine that does that? And, and what's the uh, physician union? Uh, I, I guess they're, they're, that would determine who the Human Rights Commission, the Corporate Rights Commission, is in favor of because it wouldn't have anything to do with people. It have to do with follow the money. We'll bring all that in Thank you. Yeah. Aloha. Thank you. Guys. Thanks, you guys. You rock. And that was uh, Repressed Media here in San Francisco with Maria, Bell Star, and Raul. I'm One Liberty. I'm going to sign out for now. Peace and love. Occupy.